all Pakistan for the second test match between Pakistan and South Africa. It heads is the call from Graham Smith. And it's ahead, South Africa. It is ahead, so South Africa have won the toss. Graham, what are you going to do? Yeah, we're going to bat first again. I mean, just with the comp composition of their team, you know, playing the two spinners and the two seamers, just uh, feels like the right thing to do. Get some runs on the board, hopefully, again, and then some, create some pressure like we did in the last test. Shoaib, what would you have done if you had won the toss? Well, I also want to bat first if I won the toss. And... Uh, we got a few of our senior players back in our side and uh, it's a good sign for us and uh, we're going to give our 100% and try and grab a few early wickets. Now the team make of Pakistan will have Cameron Akmal. He may be opening the batting with Salman but tough job but one that he handled pretty well. Yunus catch cricket for Inzamam ul -Hak. Wow, this will be remembered as Inzamam's test. South Africa, well, unchanged for this test match. Graham Smith to do this to the fact that a couple of guys were off the mark. Not Smith or Gates, nor for another 100. Ashwell Prince and Abidi Billiards will be hoping to assist him along the way. Boucher and then Andre Nell and uh, Paul Harris. Yes, uh, Graham Smith once again won the toss and elected to bat. Uh, I thought uh, by the look of the pitch that uh, the team will, which, that probably got to do a lot to do with the, the composition of the Pakistan team. They're playing with two spinners. The first delivery. A bit of movement there already. It was a tough match, the first test match in Karachi for five bowlers. But they should get a little bit more assistance here, shouldn't they? Lots of movement there. A little bit through the air and then across the pitch. It's a good strategy. That wasn't very far away from the off stump. Beautiful seam position. Bit of bounce really saved him. Half volley for very good shot from Herschel Gibbs. He's strong square of the wicket on the offside. I don't think Omar Bull should be very much discouraged by this uh, boundary because uh, that's a good sign for a fast ball on this sort of pitch. Wrong line. Graham Smith is very strong in that area. His balance was good here. He got that ball very fine. That was a good delivery. The line wasn't where Umagu intended it to be. Graham Smith's first boundary. What? Another good delivery and uh, equally well played. Will take two. Gully again. It's not the first time that Gibbs has fought. Important to get the break for early enough in the piece. Delivery didn't seem to do a great deal, but it took the outside edge. He's pushing at it in that uh, corridor of uncertainty. Miss Bowell have takes a catch and a good safe catch. This will get one for 30, 24 for one. Hashim Amla, the new man at the crease. 24 for one, very, very important role he plays coming in at number three. Good shot. And a little bit straighter. Nicely played by the South African captain. Yeah. Runs to Smith, wide and mid on. He might not go all the way. The big boundaries here at the Gaddafi Stadium. He has been hauled in, but it's a comfortable three. That bounce well in front. This was a good delivery. Found the outside edge, but it went straight down. So it was well played. Short and wide, four runs. Good shot by Ashamamla. Ashamamla had a lot of time here to his first boundary. That's his ninth over, but he got his, his first wicket today. And that, that ball came in. And 
Weston didn't play that ball at all. Poor well, Ashim Amla totally misjudging the line on this occasion. Mohamed Asif has predominantly been bringing the ball into the right hand. So it was a good delivery. But I don't know whether Ashim Amla thought that that ball was maybe going to leave him, but it came back in, he didn't cover the stumps, and he paid the price. The master of the batsman is in. Look at no doubt he can bat all over the world, all sorts of wickets. Beautiful strike, man in four. Good timing. Isn't it just beautiful when he plays cover drive? It's just, it's nice to watch. Yes. And sees the way back with a square with an ooh and an ah because it was in the air for just a little while. I don't think it was that full. Try to force that one. Trying to force it through the cover and got a thicker edge and. That was the first sweep of the day. First sweep shot he's really played today and he played it beautifully. Extended his arms and got his head right over the ball and he hit it right in the middle of the bat. And it's very square, which is always good. Oh, for 6.1 overs. No wickets have fallen. Oh, that was a... Second boundary in the over. That brings up the 50 buck. Well placed by Kallis. In the last match, we saw Shweb Malik using all his bowlers in the first session, but uh, this time he has only used three in the swing. Hold him! What an excellent delivery! Kicked outside the off stump. Yeah, there's enough turn. And you remember you're in the first day of a test match. That is good turn from Danish Canaria. Just found the gate. Link drew Smith across the line. The drift drew him across his stump. Gould and Asif need this assistance from the spinners. Only two seamers, Canaria has delivered. Smith will bat it all morning in part of the second session for 46, 100 for 3. Ashwell Prince, the South African vice captain, makes his way to the crease to replace his captain, Graham Smith. Jacques is playing across his delivery. He's done that quite a lot during the set series so far. On this occasion, he didn't make contact. The ball hit him on the front pad. It hit him in line. It was a, it was a googly. Hit him very low down as well. Umpire Torfo on this occasion. No doubt in his mind, he gives it out. And the fourth wicket falls. 160 for four. With Colors on his way back to the pavilion, the pavilion just before the tea break as well. Ship A B de Villiers makes his way out for the first time in this test match. 1800 runs in 30 matches, an average of 35. Come on, Barney. He's got that away. And that uh, gets him off the mark and a sigh of relief. Absolutely, that doesn't quite reach gully and it's a little full runs. There's no third man down there. Just finds the outside edge. There it is. Uh, because it wasn't stopped. Could have been stopped, maybe. Again, not a lot to persuade anybody. Beautiful bowling again, though. Look at this. This is bat hit the pad. That was the noise that was heard. might would have gone for four so he saved at least he said four runs great stop trim Malik he won't stop that one he just have to go and fetch it it's a good shot from Prince slightly on the up not really a half earlier at any means but uh, 
He made sure that the ball should go in that gap between the cover and mid-off. See whether this index finger's got much to do. It's certainly on the ball, on the scene. <laughs> In scissors, that was close. Oh, we saw, we saw uh, as much as Hamlet's, obviously. But it wasn't far away at all. That one probably bounced a bit too much, too. Oh, that's well worked away by De Villiers. How well he's picking him, I don't know, but he certainly picked that off the pitch more than anything else, and they'll get away for three runs. Maybe De Villiers. I think uh, it was uh, sort of a top spin wrong one. And well picked by Abby De Villiers. Couldn't help himself. There was a huge cap we've been talking about in the league. That's well run. They're both very quick, these two, Prince and De Villiers. This uh, Pakistan side are going to have to be wide awake in the field to save singles between the wicket. It was in the air for a little while. Probably go for four. Still got no third man. We've got two slips and gully. In the air for a little while. Little outside half of the bat. Two runs if it's not there. Good shot, good placement. Mm, the man does well. Prince has lost his bat. Okay, that's free. Shot. Solid crunch of leather and willow means that it's a boundary to AB. Good timing on the ball. That's 50 for Prince. Good innings by Ashwell Prince. He gave me, he worked hard, concentrated well, he played the spinners well early. He gets uh, applause from his teammates and well deserved as well. He will get a couple here off the top edge. The switch shot not going all that well for him. At the moment. Oh no, what a desperate bit of fielding that was. That was a very tired piece of fielding from uh, Danish Canaria. They're not asking, they're not referring it, or are they? It looks as if he's maybe it's stayed in full control. Cries of catch it, but I don't think it's going to carry to the fielder. It isn't. There's a huge gap out there. It's just fallen safely. Stump. There's only two fielders on the left side. Ah! Ball in. What a delivery! A quite a delivery. The one for Abdul Rahman. It's another. South African batsman has got the piece of innings, a little bit of turn. Split and a pass between bat and pad. Joy for a man. And disappointment for Aswell Prince. He played well for a 60. Mark Belcher walks to the green to 243 for five. Aswell Prince. Here's the batsman being replaced. Beautiful delivery. Wasn't sure, Amy de Villiers. Too high. As you can see, that there's movement. And make him drive. Oh, that's poor fielding. Poor, poor effort by Omar Go. Go. At least it will serve as a, a nice little loosener because he's got to come to ball the next over. Won't please Mohammed Asif any. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Aggressive bowling. That's why the ball hit him there. 
there because Avery de Villiers was just trapped. That's gone. That's a big wicket. Early wicket for Pakistan. Well, if I should say, in the first test match, round the wicket, bouncer onto the gloves, over the wicket this time, Gould, bouncer onto the gloves, bang, up in the air, simple catch for short leg, just leaning forward. So, Nell fails to get off the mark. He won't forget that delivery, but it hasn't helped South Africa's cause. They've lost the wicket in the first over of day two and are now 2.59 for second. Paul Harris uh, is the new batsman in, in place of uh, Andrew Mill, who just got out of uh, Omar Gould. His uh, early days in this uh, test uh, career, 28, just played six test matches. Uh, the left arm spinner, he can bat, there's no doubt. That's for Wise, I think it will be, yeah. It went pretty quickly and went uh, quite high. That was bang short and was very short. Deserved to go for uh, four wides. He's got that through the covers. The, deeps, the deep cover came up to save the single to keep Boucher on strike. So he helped himself for four instead. 268 for seven. Been all over for uh, Mark Boucher. The slow one, I would say, just stopped a little bit. Oh, tried. It just didn't carry. Not enough uh, length in it. Ooh. Oh. Oh, just a little bit sharp. Very hard indeed, sloppy fielding from Mohamed Asif. <laughs> Delivery stays down, it's a very loud appeal. It's a short delivery, it didn't get up. Looks like he's missing leg stuff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Difficult chance. Eunice Khan diving at second slip, just got the right hand, so it would have been a bonus if he caught it. Full of confidence, very good timing as well. The boundary, 337 for seven at the end of the 115 overs. Oh. In the air and he's gone. That's the wicket Pakistan needed for a long time. It was up there to drive. Lovely inning by Paul Harris comes to an end. He showed a lot of guts, a lot of determination. Not sure there's anything great that happened from the ball. Definitely not a slow ball. It was ball that just under 140 keys. He's looking to swing him just a little bit on the up. It's been a good inning. The patient one. He's gone for 46. 347 for eight. Stain. Oh my goal. Coming in. Oh. Welcome. Welcome to the green. Excellent delivery. A dream delivery for a right arm leg spinner. Fish way outside. Probably fish in a, in a rough. Spins back and spins sharp. Another wicket for Pakistan. Stain goes for without scoring. It's 350 for nine. No one's 
seen it. But it's gone miles back. Even if he had seen it, it wouldn't have helped him. It's gone for six and taken Boucher to 50. It's a big shot. Lost on the change of test 50. He's got four centuries. Bouncer. Boucher was waiting for it. It was a top edge, but it went a long, long way over. Finally, it was a fair way in as well. Straight to long on. Had to do it. Had to try and capitalise on uh, Canaria. Fair enough. Didn't quite clear. Long on. Cross with himself, but uh, an outstanding innings from Boucher. And a very, very frustrating time for Pakistan from the moment that they took the wicket of Mel in the first over of the day. South Africa won the toss yesterday morning at around about half past nine local time. Really going on. So you can eliminate Harris to a degree because that was all a bonus from a tail ender. But six starts and no one going on to get a big score. Well, they'll be hoping that Pakistan back for a long, long time to give them some time to put their feet up. Makeshift opening combination. Solomon Park with the recognised opener. And with him coming up, well, they opened in the second inning in Karachi and played pretty well to a consistent victory. Over the top of cover, four. Okay. Not convincing, but at least he did one thing right. And that, when he went for it, he went hard at it. So that ball cleared Hashim Amla's point. That is controlled. That is controlled very well. Kept it down. That's the one that was steered past square on the offside and uh, then pulled. So Antini has to find the right lane. I think uh, just to creep a little bit closer would be ideal. And he set but punches it down the ground. And this is good impetus here at the start of the innings for Pakistan. Four ball. Four ball, listen to the crowd. This is exciting, and Graham Smith is going to have to have a chat with his bowler here. And discipline still required, not apparent here at the start of the innings from the bowlers, what? and the batsman capital now, 50 comes up for Pakistan. All the way. Oh, wonderful shot this from Cameron. Short, not much of a pace in there, there was a fielder there, a square leg. Didn't have any chance to stop that. Four more. And that was almost a better shot because he the ball didn't bounce and he had to just a just Gordon Greenwich shot. Gordon used to take that on on a quicker bowler. There's four more. And that might be the end of Antini for a little while. 14 from the over, 67 without loss. Dispatched, dispatched with disdain. The Pakistan are doing well given the context of the match in a muscular situation. Solomon Bat has been batting superbly. He had no trouble in putting that away confidently. Done! Harris makes a breakthrough and Salman Bat perishes. And the plan had been set well, he looked in control. Top edge. Grand Smith was positioned at 45. Salman Bhatt goes for 40, 90 for 1. Yunus Khan, Mohammed Yusuf, Inzam Hak together again for possibly the last time at Test Match level. He won't last very long. Andre Nellis deserved this. He really has. He's bowled well. He's given Smith control and he's worked his way into a wicket. This is a foolish delivery. Guinness Khan threw the kitchen sink at it, but his foot, strike foot, was nowhere near the pitch of the ball. That delivery came back into the right hander and hit off stuff. One for three, 93 for two. Mohammed Yusuf comes to the crease, 1,788 runs in 2006, including 900, an average of over 56. 
In the air. Has he caught it? He says he has. And Akmal's happy to go. Graham Smith, the man at cover. So two catches off the bowling of Harris for him. And of course, train that Graham uh, Brown should be hitting cover drives, and uh, that's how he got him out. Excellent catch from uh, Graham Smith getting his hands under that. Agnell departs to good applause for 52. The score's 99 and for three. Ends a man onto the field for his last test match. Not necessarily his last test innings, but uh, welcomed by the crowd and by the South African team that lined up and by Mohammed Yusuf away to the left there. A little bit of width offered and it's flown over the slip for four. Spoils a good over, 107 for three. <laughs> so Boundary was close to uh, the wicket keeper, Mark Darcher. Goldstein. Uh, all the short delivery. That's nicely played. That will go for the boundary. A little bit of a flight is given to Muhammad Yusuf. Well, he's given it. So that he probably wasn't sure enough to pull. It's a big wicket this on. Well, a huge wicket here for the South Africans. That one was banged in. It was definitely short. I'm not sure if this, this would have hit the stumps, but uh, by the first look, it looked that it was going to hit the stumps. And umpire Mark Benson uh, decided that uh, Muhammad Yusuf, you got to go. Muhammad Yusuf goes for 25, 123 for four. New batsman, Miss Bowl Huck, joins in the mom, Bowl Huck. It's a good strike, hard volley. That was well hit. And reaches the boundary. End of the 30 second over. That's very nicely played. It was just there to be hit. Very good balance, Miss Ball Hug. What a shot. That is a sheer timing. It wasn't short at all. It was just a little wide for sure, but uh, very well last evening. <laughs> Good shot by Indemar. He'll be happy with that start, Waka. Excellent start. Good morning to all the viewers, first of all. A half volley being uh, can took full advantage there. Nicely struck, uh, didn't try to hit it too hard, just timed it nicely. There you go, just went up in the air a little bit. And uh, just a little little bit of air from the second throw. Second slip, four more runs. Gone! In the Marmal Hak. Just nicked that one, just pissed outside the off stump, but short of a length delivery. Yeah. Emmett has worked, good delivery, just a little bit of bounce. Inzimam didn't get in line, he got a thick outside edge. Big breakthrough now for South Africa, that's the wicket they wanted. They got it uh, early on, which is, uh, places them in a very strong position with a thick outside edge. Inzimam falls short of that uh, record of Javed Neanda for the all-time highest run getter. 149 for 5. Pakistan still trailed by 200. Out. A big nick onto the pipe pad and an easy catch there for the short leg fielder. Wicket, he bowled very well this morning. He bowled quickly, he bowled aggressively. This delivery came back in off the seam. Thick inside edge onto the pad and straight to Hashim Amla at short leg and joy for South Africa. It's all falling apart for Pakistan. 150 for six.
that average of 4.5 doesn't inspire confidence oh. once again but that was a good deal of I think when we see this again it seemed to me that there was a little bit of outswing or shape on the actually he didn't play that well so well actually he should have played straight straight back Oh man, now what did that hit? Boucher almost held on. He almost held on. Millimeter Boucher, unlucky. That catch dropped from his hand, but that was a very good try. The timing on that is remarkable. There is a deep backward point to try to stifle. Good shot of the backward. There was no fielder there for four. Good timing on the ball. Ah, that hit something. Everyone behind the stump is absolutely convinced that the most important. It's a good strike. Minimum amount of movement. Half volley. And that is Miss Bar's highest test match score. In that, uh, in that gap. And that's exactly it. Watchful. Didn't really go through with the with the ball. Just punched it through the cover. That's a good shot. Hasn't got all of it. Pretty high up on the splice. So you can even 68 runs. Who might have got a few short deliveries when he bowled earlier on? Two and two. He was plumb. Oh my God! It was per, it was a plumb LBW. But I come any easier to give them that one. Hit him on the back leg, straight in front of middle stump. 189 for eight. Lots of excitement here, McCann. Third wicket to fall in the over. It's been a fantastic over by McCart. This is the faintest of outside edges. Very well bowled by Nicini. No doubt he bowled so well on this wicket, especially on this wicket. Mohamed Asif comes to the crease. He got three wickets during that last over. Catch it. was a confident shot by Herman. Paul Harris, the first one he drove at straight park into four. Amen. Got all of this as well, that's over mid wicket. Good batting by Herman, he might as well chance is a confident shot. For a long time, just safe. Andre Nell coming around from mid on to try and catch that, but he just couldn't get there. 200 up, 200 for nine. It's a very good stroke. Good balance. Andre Nell doing the fielding at deep mid wicket. not going to happen. Harris gets his wicket, comes almost off the middle of the bat to Amla at silly point. All out for 206. Zaya, that's a very disappointing school. Uh, disappointing, definitely. 206 on this wicket where the wicket is not doing anything and uh, uh, some irresponsible shots are uh, being played by the Pakistani batsmen. This is uh, Pakistan's reply to South Africa's and no one else going other than Miss Bar or Huck. Into Malma, a little disappointing the stroke that he played this morning. And uh and Tini will be pleased as he came back into the attack. He's had a, a bit of a rough tour. He hasn't really had the rhythm that we're used to him having. It started badly with the brand new ball, but today took three wickets in an innings to uh, rectify the three for fifty seven and colours bowl quite beautifully. With me, Zahir Bass.
So I hear Pakistan have got to do something quite dramatic. This match, otherwise uh, this match is uh, out of Pakistan's head. Mr. Smith, four of them flown off that inside edge as he turned it away. Maybe I'm being a little unfair. Perhaps there was a bit more blade than just inside inside edge there. That's beautifully played, in fact. That's nicely played by Smith. It'll run away for four. It's very strong on his uh, leg side. Fielder doesn't have uh, a chance to stop this ball. Far away from Danish Canadian fans, to just paddle it around. Sometimes when it's outside leg stump, sometimes you get a glove on it or just get a fine edge through to the keeper, but well controlled. Ow! Oh, that was a crunching blow from Herschel Gibbs. He's got one of those thick bats as well. And uh, thrown that huge bat of his. Look at that. Excellent shot. off the toe of the bat, I think. Good catch by Akmal going to his right. This was loose. This was a wide, full delivery. He got the toe of the bat to it. It only just carried to come and Akmal and it only just stayed in as well. But uh, in the end, he completed the dismissal. 34 for what? So Hashim Amla comes to the crease. Average of 25. That's a problem with that number three for your country. He needs to improve on that. There's a big appeal here. And Carl Benson unmoved. There's bounce. And a little bit of hint of turn. Pitched outside leg stump. So the LBW is not on. They're also looking for the inside edge onto the pad. Good delivery, that's the sort of lane for you. Is that a drop catch? He might have got an inside neck, yeah, inside neck, so ostensibly it's a catch. That's a good shot, it'll run away from four, well done. Whether they would think in terms of putting A.B. de Villiers, it isn't, but real thoughts on that. I think it's a good idea. I think we're seeing in the Australian setup now that Michael Clark is batting down the order at the moment. I'm sure that he'll move up to three in time. But there's some talk also about bringing back someone like Neil McKenzie. Good running by Hashim Amla. It brings up 50 for South Africa and it takes the lead to 200. <laughs> Top edge. Could be out. Could be out. Has he caught it? I'm not really sure of that. No. Certainly coming off the pad, the leg, whether it touched the bat on the way through is unclear, but certainly it came off the leg. That should go for four. Don't have to chase that. Use his speed beautifully. On to Lofted quite nicely by Hashim Amla. Given by Danish Canaria. And uh, beautiful strike. Could, could have gone anywhere, but uh, controlled it nicely by Hashim Amla. Ah! Not 
takes him over. Abdurrahman has done it. And the stroke of key from the gate between the bat and pad. Didn't really spin. Looking for a turn, Naisalamla. That one kept a little straight. Naisalamla comes to the wicket. A side that Pakistan won't enjoy. Uh, poor delivery. Full toss ball. Straight side. This was a good shot. It was a full toss. It was a gift. Graham Smith wasn't going to miss out on that one. Struggling to move at mid off. Good shot played by by the captain. It's another boundary sweep shot this time. Two good shots in this over. Picked up the gap. For Omar Gold to stop that, he's been bowling. Has gone for four. Second boundary of the over. Sweep shot is. It'll be four to Gullis. It's through the gap between Slip and Gully. That was in the air for a while. It's gone for four. And I thought it came off the inner half of the back end. It, it was in the air, I think. We now have a look again. That was a good cover drive. Straight drive by Kick Callis. It's a new shot. He's been dropped. Short when it tries his heart. It was a difficult catch. But that was in the head, in his hand. And dropped it. Would have been a, a good catch. Two shots. Did go to the to the boundary. Underneath was Short Malik. Convincing of you. Ah! Oh, good turn, good turn, sharp turn. Mm, literally pitch off and probably off stuff, probably just inside of some kind of hand to play. Oh, oh brilliant. Brilliant from Danish Canaria. Ian is uh that was a nice goodly by Danish, no doubt. No, Simon Tuckle is unmoved. Mal went up straight on the edge of the battle, bat hitting ground. Have a listen. Looks from here that it didn't touch the bat. Pulled away this time by Callis, the first aggressive shot we've seen for ages. First bound. First boundary after a long time. Get away by Smith and this time he finds the boundary. Takes him on to 98. And the end of the over, 207 for two. Oh, that might be it. That might be it. It is. It'll give him a great deal of pleasure. He's worked really hard. It's been uh, very slow, as we know, because we've been standing here watching it. But he needed it. Do you mind? Well played, Captain. Easy picking there for uh, Graham Smith. Oh. Not a good delivery by Abdurrahman. He's been bowling the sort of this sort of delivery uh, in the entire day. We have seen him bowl yesterday, also the old one, just kicking those from those uh, rough areas. 
didn't hit anything. It just went uh, come up. Oh, he, he wasn't able to get those gloves in position quickly enough. That's a good come shot. On, come on, come on. Two extra cover, half volley. It was well struck by Graham Smith. Well, it was poor written on that delivery when he bowled. It was there in the slot. Just hit me. This is a record third wicket partnership against Pakistan. That Pakistan is bowling uh, without a fast bowler with the new ball. And that was a good shot. Off the gone into 10th place on the list of leading run scores in Test match cricket. Just gone past in Zamamul Hat. Oh, wasn't a confident appeal of the pad. Good luck. And it's gone for four. It's a sign. Came out of the squeeze and uh, elegant shot. Got it through. Should run away for four. The new ball will travel nicely across. It's nicely grassed outfield. So it's a bit uppish. This should be out. That is the end of Graham Smith. Up from Smith. Oh, that was a shot uh, which I think uh, hit the top edge and uh, went to the fielder. And uh, that's the end of uh, Smith. And really. I must say now that Danish Canaria got one wicket for 84 runs. 273 for three. Got an easy time now to come in for Ashwell Prince. Uh, he's had a steady series. He got a good 63 in the first innings. They're waiting with the pads on for a long, long time. <laughs> Certainly some excitement from the bowler and from first slip. Looks like he hit an inside edge onto the pad and then went straight down. That's four to Prince, driven down the ground. Nearly over pitching just slightly. Good use of his feet, Nashville Prince was well balanced. He got his weight transfer through the shot. Out. Missing leg. Didn't turn. Sliding on down. That's it. He came to Pakistan with 2400s. He's going to leave with 27. Three and two tests. Only the second man to have done it been a model of consistency in this series. Swept. And he hit it over mid-wicket for four. That's more of what I, I think needs to sort. You might as well just try to get the ball away, get as many as possible, get some bonus runs. Oh, Bowled him. Bowled him once again, the similar delivery. And... Uh, Ashwell Prince played all over it again. A better turn for Abdul Rahman. In the first innings, Prince came down the track as well. And one spun between bat and pad. It's the same thing here, almost a carbon copy dismissal. This young man will gain so much from this experience. Success for Rahman. Ashwell Prince goes for 11, 290 for 4. A.B.D. Villiers coming out in 
from an individual point of view, difficult circumstances. Four runs. Once again, outside the leg stump, and this time Callis found that he got the length to play the outside the leg stump. And this ball is relatively new, so Callis knew that it's not going to spin much, so just put a bat and ball and race to the boundary. Once again, a similar ball, similar treatment, but on that occasion there was a fielder there at the boundary, only one run. Good use of the feet. They were quick feet by A.B. de Villiers. He was back in a shot. Quick arm. It was not really short, short. Just short enough to cut. Nicely struck. So Graham Smith is standing outside the, the dressing room. Hopefully, you will see the declaration very soon. Good delivery. He's declared his team. There you go. I think uh, Graham Smith is trying to get the tension off the of his batsman. And there you go. There comes the declaration. And I don't think A.B. De Villiers wants to come out. <laughs> He's as surprised as anybody else. But they have to go with the captain is all the troops in. So 305 for four declared Graham Smith. World record 457 runs if they are to win this second and final test match to try to square the series. In the air, but uh, through the cordon for four. Went very, very quickly. De Villiers was the man it was closest to. Come around up and open the bed towards the slip area. He was lucky to survive. That wasn't a good shot. It's just gone so quickly. Tavilius is a very good catcher of the cricket ball. Outside half of the bat, that slides away for four. No third man in position. These bats are so heavy and thick you just touch the ball the ball will go out caught at third set he takes the catch first look it is gone now. but try to cut that ball towards the slip area and he gave away his wicket so but on his way back to the pavilion then, he'd be disappointed. He would like to have gone on. Not to be. 15 for one. Yunus is the man who scored a century for Pakistan. He's the only one who scored a century. And let's see what he can do in this inning. And that's been squirted away. Back with a point for four. Yunus Khan then off the mark. Does it again and controls it well. Venus Khan got up to a flyer in the second innings with the third bit delivery. He just steers past. Maybe the Villiers at third slip. He's actually been clean bowled all three times in this series so far. Just over the head of Graham Smith. Not sure that Venus Khan really meant to hit that ball in the air. He was maybe there just a little bit too early. He definitely was, whether there was some reaction off the surface. But again, he's, he's driving at a ball that isn't quite there in terms of length. The ideal driving length is probably a little bit closer. He's reached for it. And that's why he was bowled in the first innings of this match. Again, this an area that he's controlled the ball well this time from a lot closer to the body and guiding it using the play. This shot is uh, high risk because the ball's coming into him. It's very close to the body. That was a terrific shot. It was a full delivery aimed at leg stuff and he played it beautifully. 
in the barrier at number 12, 43 for one. And, and that's what Antonio was trying to do, trying to recreate what happened in the first inning. Sometimes you win the battle, sometimes you lose the battle. This one. He took that from just outside off stump, and the reason why he's doing that is because three times in the series, Yunus Khan has been bowled out. <laughs> I don't know if you're enjoying that one. It's a good shot, Cameron Akmal. Square of the wicket, he's strong there. Andre Nell is not finding the right length. I know he's had a growing strain in this match. I don't know whether that's hampering him, but at the moment he's bowling too full. Yunus Khan has unsettled him, he's upset his rhythm. And Cameron Akmal there playing a good square drive as well. Ah! Yeah, has he played at that? This is the question, we just can't be hitting the stumps. Is there an attempt to put the bat towards the ball here? Well, I don't think he was hitting the stumps, that's the thing. Well, it just hit him outside the line of the off stump, did it? It might have just hit him inside the line of the stumps. Hitting the stumps, I would say. Going down the third man and we'll beat the man down there. I don't think uh, Kamran Nakmo meant that way. He was just playing a forward defense. Got the thicker part of the outside edge. Now a few fielders there, but couldn't stop that. Right in the gap. Beautiful strike from that now. And the 50 partnership between these two. My goodness, he's played that like a... And again, two full. Nell's just been a fraction too full for the majority of this spell. Bowled a really good over at Eunice just now, and now it's come undone again. Leaned into it. This one, excellent shot. Beautiful shot. When he uses his feet, that's the, when he's best. Shot. Do well to hold that in. done very well or I think he might find that it is for I think the, oh yeah it's four runs it's definitely four runs I think he knew it oh, what a shot what a shot from the other side he needs to feel a little bit full but uh, his weight transfer through that delivery was absolutely beautiful to watch. He hit it on the up. Over the top, not easy to do off the fastest bowler in the South African lineup. That shot run away for four. Cameron Akmal has played beautifully. He really has. He's played with a degree of circumspection and confidence. And wide of second slip for a boundary. The third man is very square. It was a good shot. He opened the face of the bat. He waited for the delivery to come to him. Yeah, just so we peep those exchanges, missing off this length. I think conventional third man rather than that wide point on the boundary that the kids are preferring to with a regulation third man. One away for one. There's a 50 for Kamran Atmol and a very good one. It's been second 50 of the match in his role as makeshift opener. So it's been a very good performance. Beautifully played. Kamran Atmol is a point fielder on the boundary so he hit this so well that he had no chance to uh, cover the ground to cut it off the outside edge didn't carry Mark Boucher was going to go for it but couldn't quite get there he just died I don't think uh, the lack of pace I think uh, make it not carry to the slip 
be 50 up. Outside edge. Ball had us a third man coming around, trying to cut that off, but he can't. Good innings by Eunice Khan. He deserves it. He played well for the second time in this series. He got 100 in the first set. That's a very good shot. There's always a boundary when you hit it there. Especially in a test match. There's no man at the back. Excellent shot. Good hands. They'll go for four again. It was a good delivery by Makai Natini. That one just uh, swung away from me. He was looking to leave it. Got, uh, got an edge on it and they went through the slips. Over bowl, 125 for one. In the air, over the top. Another positive shot by Yunus Khan. That is an excellent shot. That's a bit of reverse swing. Full face of the bat. Didn't really try to close it. That's why he got the middle of the bat. That's another boundary. This wasn't as convincing. Graham Smith is in that position at short mid-wicket. It nearly went straight to him. 35 overs gone, 134 for one. Paul Harris in a, quite a strange third man position now. It's very, very fine. You don't see that uh, very often. Then you've got that unusual point on the boundary. So improvisation as far as filming positions are concerned. Paul Harris going down in the long barrier method, which you don't see that often these days anymore. is busy this time he picked it up cleanly Makai and he thought that he got the edge and I believe he hit the bat the barrier oh, yes, uh, it's going to be a big thing you know it's very strong side South Africa oh. yeah now he scores length was too short and wide outside the leg stuff Harris Gives that scoring opportunity of the last ball. 151. 150 up. 151 for one. Oi. Hmm. Just for a moment there, they all thought he was in the action. The inward movement was sharp. In the air and he's gone. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, at once he looked that he caught it. Just popped out of his hand in that area this morning. A couple went past Graham Smith earlier on, straight at him, down. What will that cost? It was the easiest of the catches, straight into the hands. Oh boy! Well, the splash on the pad over the line. He got a big stride in that, maybe the thing that saved him. It hit him on the knee roll in front and middle. Close, very close, worth a, a good shot. But he got a big stride in, that's probably what saved him. Breakthrough that's required. Paul Harris strikes. He's got it. They need it. This is the delivery from over the wicket. Bounced and turned. And he played it onto the stuff. That was a funny little shot he tried to play there. Not sure what he tried to do. He was left in, uh, in two minds. Very tentative in the end. The second wicket goes down. 176 for two. Mohamed Yusuf coming to the wicket. The only possible reason for this is that Simon Topol thinks it's going to miss leg stump. It's on the crease, but you can see middle and off stump 
off stump is hidden behind the bat. Now, to be perfectly honest, if you unit... He's that two of the feathers that might well run all the way to four. Timing was good. Prince is quick. He's got there. Good fielding. It'll probably be an inquest, but I think it's pretty safe. It's 191 for two. Beautiful shot. Placing of the ball was good. He opened his uh, bat a little towards the point area. The ball went uh, like uh, a bullet. A very nice placement by Yudhis Khan. Easy to hit. That's it. Test century number 14 for Eunice Khan, his second of this series. He hadn't scored one against South Africa before this series, now he's got two. Number three batsman being produced in this country, no doubt. Away. The key is added if it is and should be. That's not too bad. He's worked after a few deliveries uh, where his initial line should start. Good feeling there from Andre Mill. And it's uh, fine for four. Certainly the wrong line if you're bowling to just two on the onside. Lovely shot from Mohamed Yusuf. He had to keep good balance there and he had to get right to the pitch of it because he was hitting it out of the foot mask. Good feeling by Sean Paul, if anything, he is fresh. What a good That should run pretty close to the boundary, if not into it. Yes, four. Two straight from Jacques Callis. Timing as well. Yes, it is a terrible feeling, Vish, when the realisation sets in that this is it. Everything that you've worked for, everything that you've achieved, it's all come to the end. Gone! Boucher takes the catch, and there is a breakthrough, and it's Jacques Cullis. Cullis did the job for the South Africans. Splendid inning by Yunus Khan, 130 foot Pakistan in a very safe position. And in comes the big man. The big moment for the big man. In Zamam al Haq comes onto the crease. The huge moment for him is the last day of his test career, or cricketing career, I would say. 8,827 Zamam has, an average of just under 50. Close. As nicely struck. He's very positive in Zamam. He's looking for his six runs. He's got half of them. Run away. Got to run away for four. And gone, Meander's record is still in place. I had the feeling there's no need to do that. No need. Inze. But never mind. Great career by Inzamam al Haq. Gone for three. Averaging 37 in test cricket. Oh! That one nip back sharply. They'll probably look for uh, one over to Shreve Malik, but Shreve Malik is one who will just come in. 
So they will look to ball with the same ball. Hello. Full toss. Well, very, very few poor balls in this marathon spell of 36 overs. Ball, few bad balls, especially when you're bowling from the rough. That was Mohammed Yusuf uh, 50 and very nice time in the middle for Mohammed Yusuf. It's been his first test match for some time. this ball for four. That's a beautiful shot. It was a full pitch delivery. That's uh, a perfect placing. Look at this. That was into the rib cage of uh, Shor Malik. Negotiated very well. On the right, and the three here, probably. So I want it. Yes. Oh. Beautifully bowled. See, these sorts of deliveries here, one of the things that maybe I. Oh, I'm sure. Flown over gully. You're right. Chini is still racing in. Oh, top alley. It's the end of the over. South Africa are in the position, so long as Pakistan are happy to, to walk off the field. And Graham Smith shakes hands, and that will be the end of the second test and the end of this two-test series, which South Africa have won, courtesy of winning the first test in uh, Karachi. And he'll be a very happy man. Sean Pollock says goodbye to Inzi as well. That's the social kids. <laughs> Basil, the security guy, took his hat off as well. Very polite chat. <laughs> and I think we can't forget the fact that Pakistan, under the pump, coming into this fourth and final inning for the test match, have done very well to hold on for a draw of 100. Mohammed Yusuf performed with 63, and Kamran Akmal didn't he play well. So credit to Pakistan in this test match for keeping it alive. Absolutely, they batted for four sessions to uh, avoid defeat there. Stain tried hard but was wicketless and Keeney took the first and then Paul Harris but bowled.